In Frederick Edwin Church's 1877 painting, El Rio de Luz, Church shows the beauty of nature itself, the relative smallness of humans, and the vastness of the unknown. The painting, based on notes and sketches from an 1857 trip Church made to South America, shows surprising realism and unity. This painting embodies the romantic idea that man can't conquer nature by using the beliefs of nature's perfect beauty, the vastness of the unknown, and the smallness of man. Let's begin with nature's beauty. Nature's beauty is shown with great detail. In the lower to center right, the water reflects the flock of birds flying over it, expressing the perfect beauty and the intelligent design of all of nature. The lush forest on the left shows further beauty in its seemingly eternal life. In the lower right, the ripples in the water show the peaceful beauty of water itself. Just to the right of the painting's center, the river begins to fade out of view into the fog. This creates an atmosphere of vastness, as well as that of an unknown area beyond. The canoeist there seems to be curious as to what is beyond. This shows the ideal of the vastness of the unknown, and that there is too much of the world to know everything about it. The fog also provides greater depth to the painting. The third ideal embodied by the painting is the smallness of man. The canoeist near the center of the painting takes up a minuscule amount of space in comparison to the forest around him or her. This difference in size shows the smallness of man in comparison to the world around us, giving us a sense of scale and reaffirming the belief that there is too much of the world to know everything about it. El Rio de Luz shows the romantic ideals of the smallness of man, the vastness of the unknown, and nature's beauty. These ideas were popular subjects in romantic works, as they countered Age of Reason beliefs that man would be able to conquer the world. This painting is also aesthetically pleasing, so I quite like it, and I hope you do too.